Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be delving into the piccolo, which is a really misunderstood instrument and one that we don't hear a whole lot of except in marches and in action scenes. Let's check it out. We're here in Logic Pro and I've pulled up the Cine Samples Cine Winds Piccolo. And you know, piccolo, you know, it's high and usually sharp depending on the player and makes a lot of racket, but has a lot of beauty to it as well. And it's usually misunderstood. Really like great for, you know, rips in, in, uh, in, uh, or, or action scenes. You know, whatever. But we don't think about it in its lower range. And one of the things that people don't do with it, which I think is really interesting, is use it as a harmonic device. And I don't mean like har harmony device, but I mean like an overtones harmony, extra high frequencies. Let's do this. I'm going to use um, a bassoon uh, sample here from our friends at Vienna. Just going to make a very simple melody over a drone that we've here, uh, got here. And if you've seen any of these videos, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to make a simple melody. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And we're going to take a look at it. I'm going to close this window. In the score, mo score mode, there it, are, there it is. Unfortunately, it's in piano roll, but let's go back and pick up the notes. And what I'm going to do to add some interesting harmonics to it, kind of a little Zulu weirdness, is I'm going to option alt drag up to the piccolo. And then I'm going to raise this up two octaves so that it's the, the bassoon line is up in the piccolo's range. Let's just check it out here. And we're going to make it very quiet as well. We're going to take the controller data that's down here that I was using to, you know, you can see, change the, uh, the, the dynamics. And we're going to make it much, much quieter in the world of the piccolo. couple octaves up it's it's pretty nice what happens if we put it three octaves up it's 36 semitones oh let's go back pretty interesting right but what happens if we don't do octaves what happens if we do major tenths or something thereof so that would be, what's the math on that? Well, 24 is two octaves. And if we want to add a major 10th to it, that's 25, 26, 27, 28. I know, weird math. 28 semitones. We don't hear about that one that often. Let's see what that sounds like. That's pretty weird, right? But also pretty cool. Let's make it 27, which makes it a minor. Check out what happens. Really, really even different. And now let's try 31, which is, I believe, a fifth. Let's see, 30. Well, we'll see here. Oops. Yep. Each one of those has its own unique uh, emotional state that completely changes what is otherwise a nice bassoon solo and really changes it into a weird, each one of those, very different emotionally. And to be able to use a piccolo effectively like that would give any composer who wants a unique emotional feel in their film an unfair competitive advantage. I hope that you use woodwinds a lot more in your score because they've just been kind of forgotten as, you know, silly... Uh, comedy instruments. And that's just not how it is at all. And if this video has been of any value to you at all, please subscribe to our channel and come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds and hundreds of videos and blogs 
and the only comprehensive education for filmmakers and media creators on how to get that Hollywood immersion from, I don't know how to do audio for picture, for picture all the way to delivering Hollywood level immersion in 5.1 and higher. Come visit us at cinemasound.com. And until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're